Hi guys, Gunchimp here, and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Uh, we're currently in Volunrund as part of the Silence Has Broken uh, quest for the Dark Brotherhood to speak to a shadowy character called Armand Mondier. Uh, he's given us an amulet, so we're basically going to go back to Astrid with that. Uh, but before we do that, when we entered in Volunrund, we actually uh, accidentally triggered another uh, quest which is called oops if I silence tongs uh, we have to locate two ceremonial weapons which is uh, an axe and a sword in order to open um, the doors to Elder's Cairn so uh, we're going to do that because it makes sense while we're here um, we're going to go in a bit of a dungeon crawl and take out a load of Draugr by the looks of it so there's two choices from the central passageway I mean, this is where we, we came in yep, that's where we came in so as soon as you come in, um, that's the doorway we're going to go to. There's a passageway leading off to the left. There's another one leading off to the right. It doesn't really matter in which order you do them. Um, so let's do this one first. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get this all done in one episode. Uh, but to be honest, I can't remember. Oops, hang on. I'm going to be using the, the good stuff. I really want to be wasting ebony? No. So we'll go with glass arrows. Just to use them up. <laughs> trick to find in drug again just check if they've got armor then they're gonna come alive they don't have um, armor they're pretty harmless it's always better to take them out while they're resting before they're fully activated this makes life a lot easier another one I think yep I can hear one moving actually. I hear footsteps, so. Very careful. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I can hear another one. Man. The way that sometimes it decides to throw up an invisible wall. Anyway, so let's see what he had. Again, like I said in the last episode, if you take the ancient weapons now, you can actually turn them into um, ancient hero weapons in the Skyforge in Whiterun. Now that we've completed the um, the companion's quest line, uh, but I don't really see the point because they don't do that much damage to be honest compared to other things that we have. So it's a nice little thing to have in the game but not really <laughs> okay. I see you whoops come on death lord come play what's that sound that's right <laughs> Nice little tactic to use, especially with Draugr. Um, another one. Oh man, he got paralysed. So many fail arrows. I noticed watching these videos back actually that I thought the arrows always flew in a straight line, but they do kind of deviate from left to right. So that's why sometimes I have so many problems with these things, because um, I think it's going to go in a straight line. random <laughs> uh, yeah they sometimes they don't go in a straight up oh, hello I've got a light foot oh, that could have been nasty Just find out what kind of traps they are I think they're probably arrow traps okay whatever any bow thank you very nicely Nice etiquette. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, you have ebony arrows. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's what we came for. That's the ceremonial axe. So that's one of the keys to the door. And um, where does Buddy go? It's over there. Ebony war axe. Uh, we're starting to get full again. 
I just can't resist Ebony stuff because they're worth quite a lot. Um, but anyway, that's that one done. Can I check him? It's the other one that I didn't check. This guy here. Okay, so that's that bit done. So we could go and activate this now if you want. Control fat. Crappy shield. So salt pile, yes please. Yeah, if we want. You can see. It's one of them activated. And then where's the So I went in that one? Um, yeah, we've done that one, so it's this way we're going. Sorry, a bit confused. Hello, <laughs> chilling. <sighs> one down, two to go. Let's see what happens to you, mate. <laughs> no, you don't. You can see that one flew off to the left, and I'm aiming the straight line, but there you go. There's one left. Let's see if we can get his attention. Oh, here he comes. Excellent. As you can see, there's a. Uh, for that trap, but. Um, it's all good. I can still hear footsteps. Sound whoring in Skyrim. <laughs> Next to my Astros, but I uh, can't see him. I'm assuming he'll be in here. He must be up there, because if I go up this way. Assuming this is just going to wrap back round. Black Soul Gem, thank you very nicely. Sounds really loud, but I don't know where he is. Oh, okay. Must be up there. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> hey, <bud. laughs> That's kind of fun. So, sound whoring in Skyrim. That's a new thing for me. Because uh, believe it or not, I've never actually played with a gaming headset before. Um, I've always been playing with my TV, and I just don't believe I was doing that, to be honest. <laughs> I've been missing out on so much. Anyway. A body. Sounds incredible. It sounds like there's a frostbite spider or something. Oh, hello. Hopefully, uh, deep sleep that one. Yeah, it's a nod helmet. Like, damn it. Okay, time to offload. Let's see. Um, I don't really want to ditch all these daggers, but what the heck? It's the easiest way of doing it. else that we picked up by accident. I mean, those things we can craft now, so I don't need to take it. Um, everything else I want to kind of keep on to. Jeweled amulet, that's what the our man gave us. Uh, Orcish gauntlets, they can go. 
only three of those. Okay, down to just under 500, so. Mm. This is fine. Is it going to be protected by someone? This is. Which shout do I have? Oh, I do have unrelenting force. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, you had the same idea as me. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Okay, so that's that. That's what we came for. So that's this area cleared. Wee. Oops. <clears throat> it seemed like a good idea at the time. So I'm back in here. Let's activate that. Okay, so we're gonna go defeat the boss, Kvenel, so uh, let's go do that. Mm. Actually, I'll just check how we're doing with potions, because I don't think I have anything now. No, not really. Put one of those just in case. I can hear water. It's a bit deafening, actually. And a word wall. So we've got here deadly poison. Is that Skyrim? Hold of Skyrim, okay. I hear footsteps. Get up. I forgot paralysis doesn't work on death wards. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, that must be the boss guy. So, have it. Paralyzed the first attack. Uh, the good thing is, paralysis potions don't work on Death Lords, but because my archer's at 100 now, and they have the paralysis perk, that does um, work on him. Boom. <laughs> Goodbye. That's easy enough. You can have anything insanely... Oh, man. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to be strong. I can still hear footsteps. We're not out of the woods just yet. Don't say hit that word wall again. Hey, okay. where are the bad guys at? Ooh, where did he come from? Back in your coffin, dude. <laughs> Next. Okay. Check the goo. In. Okay, so that's basically what we get for doing this. It's uh, fabled weapons. Oh, we're gonna have to resist that. Light falls in the sentinel, that's ironic. <laughs> and a steel, a 
X of M is it's going to take us over the weight limit, so that's going to have to stay behind. I can hear the ward, word wall, but I can't see it. Oh, <laughs> there it is. See what we get. Life or a whisper. Okay, let's take a look at that. I think it's just kind of like a detect life spell. The voice has shared the whisper. Yeah, revealing life force. This is not really that useful. It's kind of like the effect you get in Oblivion when you put on the grey cowl, uh, the cowl of the grey fox. Kind of gives you just like a glowing purple aura wherever there's uh, life forms, but it's not really that useful to be honest. You go, dude. Let's check out that arrow. Hello. And yeah, now it's just a case of getting out of here, I guess. Um, oh, another treasure chest. Ching. Whoops, no. Ching. Dragon Priest Dagger, that looks pretty cool. Ching. Ching. <laughs> and let's see what's in this. Okay, uh, we need to ditch something. So I could try with that. That is pretty awesome. A shame it only does 10 damage, um, but it's pretty cool. I'll be going in the chest just in case. Any bows, no way. Oh, looks like I'm ditching these daggers. At 512, we're down to the weight limit again. All good. So, I think we're done for here now. Yep, it's cleared. So, um, let's get the heck out of Dodge. that before. Anyway, I got distracted as usual. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's just quickly check the quest and uh, yep that's everything done for this area so we might as well just get back to Astrid and uh, we can call it an episode I guess. Okay, so here we are back in the Dark Brotherhood, and uh, let's go see. There she is. Hello, You're Astrid. Back. Good. All right. So, did you meet this mode here? What did he want? Okay, I'm just gonna get to that. Uh, he wants us to dun 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 kill the Emperor. You're joking. Sure was. What's this? Uh, the letter explains it all. The amulet is for expenses. By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. Uh, so surely the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect us? No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us. So we'll accept the contract? <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. Nice. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. Okay. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? Nope. But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter, 
and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. Uh, what are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. <laughs> we know give it well. A letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... Uh, history. Okay, it's an old he boyfriend. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now you can actually open uh, the letter if you want to read it beforehand, but there's not really anything that interesting in there. Uh, for now, let's go see uh, Nazir as well, because we might as well do some training while we're at it in light armor, because my general plan is I'm going to switch to light armor, I think. At the moment, we've got kind of a mixed match. Um... Okay, he's normally always eating. Ah, there he is. Still here? I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Okay, good for you. Because uh, we might as well, I mean, we've got four opportunities to train, so what the heck. And this is actually a light um, armor master trainer, so he can take you up to level 90 as well if you need to. Uh, but it just kind of edges us as well towards leveling up, which is always good. Um, Okay, excellent. Um, so, you got any more contracts for us? There are, indeed. Three, to be exact. Goody. There's Dekas, a shipwreck scavenger. Mirandrew Joe, a traveling caravaner. And Honoriath, a hunter. Okay. Honoriath, uh, we know. He's the one who he has a stall in Whiterun. The Wood Elf may run a stall in the city, but he retreats to the plains outside Whiterun to hunt. Kill him there. And no one will bear witness. Okay, and how about Dikas? He's an Argonian layabout. <laughs> likes to scaven shipwrecks. My guess is he'll run if threatened. Or swim, if given the chance. Okay, and how about unpronounceable? He's an accomplished wizard. And locating him may be challenging, as he travels with the caravans. Okay... Um, any advice to my current contract? You may be the listener, or you may just be a lunatic who's started hearing voices. Either way, Astrid is still your mistress, not the Night Mother. Hey right, guys, um, let's just uh, go see her so we can sell some stuff. It's been quite a boom. Take a look. Have you got any useful ingredients? It's been forever. I'll take that, definitely. Um, take that as well. So I take those. And let's see if we can offload a couple of these things. Uh, oh, if you haven't got that much money, that's a problem. Okay, I'll sell it as a loss, but whatever. Stay safe. Okay, thank you. Um, right, so let's get out of here, and I think we can call it a run. Um, it probably is a good idea to actually go to Delvin and get the amulet appraised, because um, what I want to do is I'd like to keep a little bit of consistency, because um, I kind of made the mistake of leaving this quest line halfway through, so it's kind of a bit disjointed in my series. Uh, but I reckon the best thing we should do now is just see it through to the end. So let's quickly just check where these people are. Now we know that Anorath is in White Run. Uh, this guy travels around a lot, which kind of makes it hard to find him. So as you can see, Aranath is actually outside. Oh, uh, excellent. Okay, that's kind of useful. Um, because the Khajiit's actually in White Run as well. And then Dikas is kind of around here near to Dawnstar. I know where he is. He's quite easy to find. Um so yeah, let's quickly get over to White Run Stables. Okay, so uh, there he is, that's the Kadik Traders. But that's coming up in the next episode. Uh, we're going to continue the Dark Brotherhood questline until it's to its end, I think. I think that's probably the best idea, rather than uh, 
go off and do other things. So I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, it is kind of fun. Once we do these standard contracts, um, it really starts to pick up the pace with the Dark Brotherhood. There's some really cool assassinations to carry out, and it is kind of fun. Uh, and I hope you'll join me for that. For now, though, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care, and above all, peace.